Hi Sanam, welcome on your video once again. Hi sir, thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, Sanam, uh, please excuse me, I am sitting very relaxed today and uh, felt yeah. like talking to you. And uh, today yeah. we are going to talk about uh, uh, Ireland, the you know country which is uh, many people want to visit. And now we are going to cover today uh, this particular country for those students who are uh, interested to pursue MS there. So I yeah. go straight to the question, why Indian students should consider Ireland? So Ireland, um, of course, I mean, students have uh, grown various interests all over different countries mm -hmm. for uh, for like last two, three years. But uh, in specifically, they are tend to move to Europe and uh, especially Ireland and uh, UK and such countries where master's is like for one year, uh, one year course. So students generally come from different backgrounds, like uh, six to seven CGPA, seven to eight CGPA, eight to nine and another CGPA, right? So they, they generally uh, find their uh, respective universities very easily in Ireland and uh, it's easy to get admission and uh, job opportunities are plenty after masters, even while masters, you while you do my masters. So there are plenty of opportunities. Okay. Yeah. So if I put it this way, like if my CGP is less also, and there are so many students who in graduation get very less CGP also, as you mentioned, yeah. something around six CGP or something. Uh, yeah. Then also they stand chance to get admission in Ireland University and do really good. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Exactly. So there are students who have been from like very nominal uh, private universities in India who have done bachelors with um, very nominal private universities and then again they have very nominal CGPA like 6, 7, 6.5 and they have gone got into you know master's admission in, in uh, Ireland and they are doing very well. Mm, okay and uh, uh, what I want to know Sanyam is like suppose my CGPA is less and I invest money so I'll invest in money uh, with the hope that in future I get a very good learning there in that university. I enhance yes. my. I get uh, into the industry uh, related courses, which industries mm -hmm. are for nowadays. And once I spend that and complete my course, I get into the job market. So that can be done. Yeah, right? so, yeah. So there is like uh, again, I'll say there is a smart counseling here, uh, depending on the grade scale of the student, like whether they have a CGPA of five to six, six to seven, and all. And it is very easy to get into uh, if if you apply wisely. Of course, students can reach uh, your PD executives to know more. But applying wisely is very important because there they charge application fees, and uh, you don't want to spend your money on uh, the universities where you don't get admission. Mm. So there, there is required. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wonderful. Okay, Sanam, can you tell me some really good universities in Ireland? Yes, so uh, they they actually have uh, two procedure, two type of procedure, online and offline. So I will specifically talk about online applications because uh, masters in uh, technology and engineering domain they prefer online applications. Okay. So, for example, University College Dublin, Trinity College Dublin, mm -hmm. National University of Ireland, University College Cork. Dublin City University, TU Dublin, and there are some more universities that accept online application for engineering people. But I don't think they will face any offline applications while the process. So it's not required to uh, worry about offline applications. But uh, the only thing that a student should consider is uh, like stick with the deadlines and uh, producing all the documents. If they are uh, doing this, this is the nominal uh, requirements, right? And if you fulfill these, you are uh, very good to go. Okay, so MS I know are of uh, different duration. You know, yeah. in kind of countries we have one year MS also, and then exactly. there are MS. What about Ireland? How long duration is MS for? Yeah, so there are uh, again two kind of masters programs in Ireland as well. Uh, they have one year masters program and two year masters program. So one year masters program is specifically for those students who want to like go get into job directly, like completing uh, their one year of masters. And uh, while the second semester at, or at the end of second semester, they get they can easily get into some uh, uh, startup or any company in in Ireland itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, and two year masters is also there. The people, I mean, people who are uh, interested in going, uh, let's say abroad for, let's say United States, maybe, or maybe some other European uh, country for PhD, uh, they can, they can do masters with thesis in that case. Okay. And, uh, Sanem now coming to finance and cost part. So 
what do you think is the total cost incurred on ms for ireland so if you are talking about one year masters so you will be spending approximately 18 lakhs including everything uh, tuition fees and everything uh, 18 lakhs indian rupees per year okay but uh, i i mean there are uh, high chances uh, i mean 90% of the students get into part time jobs and part time jobs are generally uh, include teaching assistantship student assistantship and research assistantship within the same university mm -hmm. so if uh, if you uh, you you can work on a project or you can prove that you can work on a project uh, related to your domain then you can easily incur your uh, all the expenses uh, living expenses so half of the money you can earn while doing masters itself so it's not cheap but career growth and boost is the best for for career boost and everything, uh, it's the best opportunity uh, for for low 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 tier CGPA students. Okay, wonderful. And uh, Sanim, uh, is it uh, uniform for all branch of engineering and other domains? Like, uh, or sometimes we say, no, this country is good for computer guys. This country is good for yeah. or something like that. What is your take on that part? yeah so i will say if if a student is like from any um, any background irrespective of any bachelor domain they can easily get into uh, like computer related computer science related domain in uh, ireland it related domain and uh, they can easily get into uh, jobs like uh, pwc there is there are companies like pwc then um, deloitte and uh, capgemini so all these companies hire very easily. I mean, there is there is not a big deal uh, to get into these companies. So yeah, IT domain is uh, much more, uh, I would say, recommended. Yeah. Okay. So have I uh, left any other particular part untouched? Maybe uh, the exam requirement, uh, Sanem? What are yeah. the exams to Yeah, be? application requirements, yes. So application requirements are very uh, common. I mean, uh, 10th, 12th degree uh, passport and SOP, two letter of recommendation. And if you have work experience, that is a cherry on your cake. So yeah, it's good. And of course, English proficiency has to be produced. Mm. What is the admission season, uh, Sanya? Which months when students should start focusing on uh, application? Oh, um, Actually, students start from like uh, May onwards to pre start preparing uh, for their documents and everything. And they start applying for uh, the admission process from September till uh, there are like different admission deadlines. So they start from September and uh, it ends to till December and uh, they get offer generally in April around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think that this was what uh, was there in my mind. All the questions. If I left anything. Please uh, share that information also if something is left by me. For the yes, sir. That is, all, that is all. Yeah, that is all we yeah, had. More or less covered all the things, right? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, that's wonderful, uh, Sanam. So I'll also request you to, you know, come out with the PhD opportunities in Ireland in future. And we may discuss yeah. opportunities also. So this yeah. is for MS, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, Sanam. Catch you next week.